I have not been to the eye doctor since starting Trikafta, and it is almost certainly related. Good morning, guys. We are having some what salsa chicken. It? Salsa chicken chip dip. Basically, the leftovers from Mary making enchiladas yesterday. She just baked in the oven with some cheese on top. Made a little chip dip out of it. Salsa chicken, which you can see how Mary made that in yesterday's vlog, is a very versatile dish. Didn't we used to put it on rice? And you can do it with chips, you can put it in enchiladas, you can... Taco. Taco. Uh, yeah. Choose just... your own adventure. Yeah. Gonna give you one guess. Ollie thinks that I'm talking to him. Okay, Ollie, I'll give you one guess. What do you think's in the box? I wasn't talking to you, but you can look. You wanna help me? You wanna help me? Okay. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? boxes of medicine and all of this packaging. Did you know getting a package of your medication in the mail takes longer to recycle and disassemble the box and the packaging than it does to, uh, it takes a while. All right, unpacked those meds. Well, mostly. I need to go check outside. It's very warm and humid, so I'm gonna put my hair up. But I wanna go check on tomatoes outside. Okay, let's see, just got a buzz. Just got a email. Okay, let's go check on the vegetables, the fruit. Oh, actually, it doesn't feel that hot out. It feels good. All right. Let's see, we got some crazy stuff. I think I saw a post on like a gardening page I'm a part of that this is not normal. And I could have guessed that, but it was interesting to see that our cucumber is yellow. That's not normal. And yeah, so some you know, abnormal things going on over here. That's all right. Well, we have like four cucumbers ready. Oh yeah. Tomatoes. Oh, whoa. Hello. Hello, perfect tomato. How are you doing today? Hello, more perfect tomatoes. Oh, uh, hello, perfect tomatoes back there. All right, all right. I need to go get scissors, hold on. Hello, you perfect tomato, you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What? How is this real life? Beautiful. Ali, it's okay, I'm right here. You're all right. Weird. Hello. 
Hello. Ooh, I'm starting to see some color and a bug eating our tomato. Could you like not eat this please? I forgot I had one more sitting up here on the deck because it has a weird spot up here but I had another with a weird spot and I just cut around it and it was totally fine this is what I was hoping for I was hoping that that we would have enough tomatoes and vegetables to share with our neighbors and our friends this is a gift that these actually grew. This red pepper was, or these two red peppers were getting a little bit sad in the refrigerator, so I chopped them up so I can use them for fajitas or something someday soon and I'm feeling hungry so I'm gonna eat some pepper and cream cheese. Bet you couldn't guess that. Were you impressed with our the Yeah, I was tomatoes? very impressed with all those tomatoes. I didn't know we had so many. Is that good? Probably right, some little salad leftovers. Mm, nice. Nice. Okay, we are about to run a couple of errands, but just, just in case you wondered if we only eat vegetables, I'm having coffee with cream and sugar. Mm. What's in your mouth? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. <laughs> salad and marshmallows. That's all we eat. Balanced. Balanced life right there. It's all about balance. I, I think that's the key. I agree with you. You need more marshmallows? I don't know. <laughs> I have, ooh, I just realized, okay, I have an eye doctor appointment at five o'clock, although we have to make sure they got the entrance figured out. Um, so I just threw together one of those salad kits and I made some salmon. There's another piece that's still cooking in the oven, but I used what was ready. I, I had two pieces, a thinner piece and a thicker piece. So we'll eat this and it's 420. So we have a little while. We have like 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Peter took Ollie on a walk. I almost said Ollie took Peter on a walk. It's the other way around. Peter took Ollie on a walk. And then we are going to head out. Once they get back, we're gonna go to my eye appointment. Peter said, I'm pretty sure they got the insurance figured out because they probably would have called if they didn't. So, we'll go with that. The cutest boys of them all. Hello, cuties. Hello, honey. Hello. All right. The vision exam was good. She said stable vision, so that is good. Yeah. I did learn an interesting fact. Okay. The surface of my eyes is dry in like a way that they've never told me before. I have not been to the eye doctor since starting Trikafta and it is almost certainly related and I, thought that was really interesting and I am okay with that. I'm like, I'll take some dry eyes for some living life. Totally fine. And she said it probably has to do with, which she was like, I'm not familiar with this medication, but it sounds like it might have to do with like mucous membranes being dried up or whatever. And that would be true. So who knew? 
because I told she asked like are your eyes ever itchy or um, burny or scratchy or painful and I was like um yeah actually in the last year I'll have times where my eyes are burning so bad I can't keep them open and I'm like ah like that sort of thing and actually I don't know I, I feel like maybe I've mentioned it on the videos before because maybe I'll try to like be vlogging but my eyes are burning really bad she was like yep that's because you, the surface of your eye is really, really dry. So she made a couple recommendations if it's an issue, like if I find that it's happening often, it only happens occasionally, but anyway, that was interesting. And Peter, so we're leaving tomorrow, we're flying out for a funeral, and I've been into brownies lately, and I was like, can we stop at Aldi and get a a brownie mix he was like but we're leaving tomorrow how about I just get you a brownie cookie so he just ran in to pot bellies to get me a brownie cookie whoa oh, fresh oh, cookie fresh cookie if you've never had a pot bellies brownie cookie we just, you have not fully lived wait fresh I don't know hmm. well they got it off the, the okay yummy but not fresh we know. discovered these in college <gasps> They didn't put the cookie. They always put a cookie on the straw. Wow. Pop Bellies is based out of Chicago. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? What'd you milkshake? Oreo? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Alright, I'm going up to bed. Peace out. Well, I guess you're just leaving them right there? I guess. Man. Well, this evening has consisted of, I spent the majority of my time getting my, the, I'm, I'm officiating a funeral, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. Tomorrow, Mary and I fly out to Massachusetts. And uh, so I like finished my message for the funeral and the order of service and co coordinated with the funeral home. And, Would you mind? Yep. Sorry. Can you put this with oh. my inhaler? Yep. Ready? Yep. Thank you. Call it the inhaler. Okay. So, I'm ready to go with the funeral details. I, um, it's kind of a sobering and yet a really meaningful moment uh, for me to be able to do funerals and walk with people through a really hard moment in their life. And um, I'm really grateful that Mary and I have the ability to go up to Massachusetts right now and do it. And so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Tune in, we'll bring you along. This will be our first time flying post, I, I feel like it's incorrect to say post COVID, but uh, because COVID is still around, but it's our first time flying since the pandemic came around. And so, anyways, that's all. I gotta go work on packing my bag uh, and getting things together. So, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. And I think Ollie's around here somewhere. See? Well, nope, he's not, but Harry is. Good night, Harry. Okay, you can lick your foot.